And when you hear the term SLS camera, I think in most people's mind goes to paranormal, ghost scanning, tracking, or whatnot. I became interested in the SLS camera about 10 months ago when I started to learn about the things you can do with the sensor bar. You can use it, although most people I think refer to it as a ghost camera. Um, it can be used for, it is a 3D scanner where you can scan anything, any objects. I have a friend by the name of Chris and he was telling me about one of his friends that they do out and go 3D mapping. 3D tracking. You can take this portable camera anywhere. You can use it for a 3D scanner. You can use it for background removal. You can use the speakers to track audio to find out the source and direction the sound is coming from that it picks up. There's a whole lot you can really do with this camera. It's for gaming, you can create your own games with it. Now when I first came across the um, SLS camera, it was linked to paranormal. But I've learned there's a host of things you can do with the Kinect 360. Uh, the paranormal like to use it in order to track skeletal figures. Personally, I like to refer to the things that the Kinect camera picks up as Kinect goes. This is not to prove the existence or disprove the existence of ghosts. That's um, one's own personal belief. However, everything that it tracked is not paranormal. Um, it can link a chair, an empty chair or wall. It can detect, attract, or, or try to put a figure on a lot of things it tracked. Sometimes it might put it on a chair. Um, others it might not. However, while using this, I must say that if the figure you're tracking respond to commands, you might have something. My biggest challenge is to take it to an open area and just scan and have something, a sculptor figure pop up in the middle of nowhere. As far as um, using it for that aspect, then I can truly say it has picked up something. Um, we don't go around asking questions, provoking or, or challenging spirits to show themselves or to raise your hand or do anything to that sort. Um, we just like to take our camera around in real time, real world, and just show you what it picks up. Now, um, to end this section of the video, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Hopefully this will be helpful if you're interested in um, designing your portable SLS camera using the Kinect sensor bar, then hopefully you will look into this handle. Um, like I said, over the past 10 months we've been working on trying to make something suitable for us, lightweight. Like I said, we were hoping to design something that's very sturdy, that stands up on its own, that you can take anywhere. As I said before, we do like this model, the concept, the handheld tripod. Only thing is, it does not support the weight of this camera um, to where I'm happy with it. I did a shake test. Once I had this camera together, I did a shake test, and this is the result. The SLS camera is basically made with a Kinect sensor bar bit the 360 or the X1. I think a lot of people equate SLS cameras with ghost busting, paranormal. But I want to let you know that they're used for way more than ghost busting, paranormal. And if you're here, I would say it's because of your interest um, in a DIY bill for SLS camera. Once I get the Xbox One built, I will Compare the two to let you know what type of tablet um, to use. The tablet for the Xbox One scanner needs to be a stronger tablet um, and have 3.0 ports to where um, the Xbox 360 is pretty tablet friendly. Once we have the Xbox One model built, I will go over the different laptop or tablet you will need 
to run the system. The Xbox 360 is a bit more tablet friendly. Um, it doesn't require as much um, power to run or to operate. It can run off in the 2.0 port. I want to build a portable unit that I could take anywhere and not be confined in the house. Um, with this model, you can plug it into a power outlet if you're indoors. You can use an extension cord. You can use a converter on your car so you can plug it into your car. I use a power pack. I've tried different power packs. I'm currently using the power tanks, power packs. I don't use the power packs with the um, batteries, the alkaline batteries. I'm not sure how long they will work or run a unit that takes as much power as this does, especially if you're doing using certain applications. I, however, have used um, a Black & Decker pocket power. Currently, we're using the Celestron power tank. But I want to let you know the Connect sensor bar has a host of applications and you will find them under Connect for Windows in the SDK toolkit. If you're here, I would say you're here to find out more about SLS cameras, SLS camera builds. Um, the thing is, when most people hear SLS camera, I think they equate it with paranormal ghost tracking, ghost hunting. But I'm here to let you know you can do a whole lot more with the Connect sensor bar. I'm here to offer you a good sound base to get your camera started. A good sound base to build your camera upon that's versatile to where you can add components and compartments or, or other items to it. And due to its nature, if you already have an SLS camera build, you can easily transfer the items from that camera build onto your block. Like I said, if you're here, I believe it's due to your interest in SLS cameras. I would imagine um, quite a few people will have the items already at hand that you need to make your own SLS camera. A tablet and a sensor bar, along with a um, adapter, power adapter for your sensor bar. With that said, the only thing you need is a nice strong base support or something that you feel you can that's reliable, that's secure for your setup. By the time you put everything together, you could have a nice little investment in setting up your SLS camera, especially if you're using an Xbox One sensor. And this is our basic setup. Although you don't need a USB hub for your setup, I would suggest using one so you don't wear your USB port out on your tablet. 